Every now and then, when you talk to a customer, you're going to get a scheduled call. Now, a scheduled call requires that you have a very specific type of opening, and this is going to be called the ACE opening. So let me teach you how to ACE the opening of a scheduled prospecting call. Now, typically, when you start off with a customer, they're going to say, you know, time right now is not very good, but call me back on Friday. And so in this scenario, we want to make sure we drive engagement over time when we have our call with our customer on Friday. So when you pick up the phone, I want you to literally say the word appreciate. A stands for appreciate. Now, the reason why we start off with this particular word is that it will force your mind to realize you're starting a pattern. I don't want you to say thank you. It's literally appreciate. Because now what you're going to realize is that it is game time. We are starting this call, and then you will feel more confident with your opener. Don't go too far and say, hey, Dan, I really appreciate you jumping on the phone today. I know you're so busy. Thank you so much. Because now you're putting the customer on a pedestal. So instead, what we need to do, keep it short and sweet. Jill, I appreciate you jumping on the phone today. And now you go immediately into the next part. The C stands for check the end time. Now, ultimately, at the very beginning of a call, I want you to talk about the end of the call. Because a lot of times people are nervous about staying on a call too long, or they thought that this call was supposed to be 30 minutes, you thought it was supposed to be an hour, and you figure that out at the very beginning. But even better is if you're talking to a decision maker, and they say, you know, I got a hard stop at this time, you can now manage your time better. So at the end of the call, you leave enough room to set up next steps and not just try and go back to finding a time by email. Now, the third step that we want to go into is the end goal. The end goal is all about the customer's end goal. It has nothing to do with what we want to do, which typically in prospecting is book a 30-minute discovery call. So the end goal is focused on what they want to get out of the call. Why did they even show up to this meeting? So when I put this all together, it's going to sound like this. Hey, Roberta, this is Dan. I appreciate you getting on the phone today. We have 15 minutes scheduled. Does that timing still work for you? The end goal is I want to make sure I understand your requirements to see if this could even be a good fit for what you're looking to solve. Does that sound like a good use of our time? Now, what you might have noticed from going through that role play is that I asked a question at the end time and another question at the end goal. So what you see in this opening is even though there's three steps to it, what you're really showing the customer is that this is going to be a two-way conversation. I ask a question and you answer the question. And it also helps them feel part of what this meeting is going to be about. So when you open up the meeting, you're going to start off with an ace at the very beginning, and then that's going to lead naturally into this next step, which is the agenda. Now, every meeting needs to have a purpose, which is what the end goal is, but the agenda is the plan. Now, I mentioned before that in this three-part meeting that we're going to have a beginning, middle, and the end, the end goal is the thing that is unifying the whole meeting together. The agenda is how we're going to get to that end goal. And the final step is called connecting the wagons. And this is where we are able to set up what the next meeting looks like and why that's beneficial for your customer. So the end goal, one sentence. The agenda, three bullet points. So let's break down what the agenda looks like. The agenda is typically going to be something short and sweet. I don't want you to over-architect it and make it sound like, hey, the first two minutes, I'm going to ask you some questions. Then the next three minutes, I'm going to tell you all about our features. Instead, have a rough estimate of what our time will be spent doing. So the first step you can do is ask about their requirements. Then the next part of the meeting is share how you work with similar customers. So in this case, I'd call it a third-party reference or storytelling. Then we'll leave time at the end for next steps. So this is how the agenda would sound. Jill, our agenda today is first I'll ask about your requirements, then I'll share a little bit of insight about how we work with similar customers based on what you're looking for, and at the end of the call, if it makes sense, we'll set up next steps to go deeper into how we could partner together. Does that sound fair? And now you may notice that that question I just asked is a closed-ended question, 
And most of the time, you're going to hear, yeah, that sounds good. But now I want you to ask the most magical question you could ask at the very beginning of the call, after you've set your agenda. I want you to ask the open-ended question, what else would you like to cover today? Now, this is different than the closed-ended question, is there anything else? When you ask, what else, it's like giving the mic to your customer, and it hopefully will get them to engage with you and tell you about their number one priority. Dan, that sounds like a great agenda, but what I'm really looking to learn about is how you integrate with, and now you know that integrations is a top priority for them. So when you run through the next part of the call, you can focus on your questions, on what they actually want to talk about. So you do that by orchestrating the opening. Now at the end of the call, connecting the wagons, all you need to do is summarize what we spoke about and then set up next step. This meeting, as we approach the last five minutes, I just want to make sure that we covered what our goal was. The goal is to make sure that we understood your requirements and gave you enough insight on if it would make sense to move forward. Did we achieve that today? And hopefully your customers say, yes, thank you, Dan, we did. And now I can say, well, because we meet your requirements and it sounds like we can be a good fit for potentially solving a problem, I recommend that you talk to one of our experts who has been working in your industry for the last five years on helping you solve X, Y, Z. Are you free for a discovery call next week or later this afternoon? Set up next steps after summarizing that you've achieved their end goal and that it's based on recommending a solution that they need. So once we start orchestrating our meetings, our scheduled calls with a beginning, middle, and an end, you are going to sound like a professional that they want to do business with. And all you need to do is add in a couple simple steps. Ace the opening, have a clear path on how to get to the end goal, and as you start wrapping things up, Make it about what you achieved, about their goals, what they wanted to get out of it, before you suggest a next step.